Remember, Local 23 News is looking to honor veterans and the impact they have in our community. Tonight, we meet one Brownsville group that started with a few friends, and now they serve the Rio Grande Valley and even added President Trump as an honorary member. Our Alfredo Cuadros reports. They're veterans helping veterans, formed in late 2013. A group that once served their country proudly is getting together to serve their community. It was a movement that started out of frustration. They saw a need, but no solutions in sight. The VA does a good job, but it's kind of slow sometimes. So Jesse, myself, and along with some other guys that we went to high school together, we decided to form this group and see if we could provide emergency help. Today, they honor their founding message by donating funds to veterans. And their widows. They've installed flags, have given transportation to fellow veterans in need, among many, many accomplishments. They were trying to do what I've always wanted to do to be of service to other people. We see a need for a veteran. You know, this is, this is what we're here for. And eventually the group got noticed. That's Tony visiting the White House as President Trump signed the VA Mission Act in June 2018. They told me that out of 21 million veterans in the United States, uh, I was one of two that got selected to go see President Trump. Then there's a group's most prized possession. We are the guardians of the last flag that flew in Vietnam. The flag was taken at the Battle of Saigon at the American Embassy during the Vietnam War. Currently, it is housed at a local bank vault because the group does not have an official headquarters. They say there's plenty more to do in the Rio Grande Valley. Right now, they're in the process of hosting a community dance and adding improvements to Brownsville's Veterans Park. It's dear to our heart, and uh, we want to make sure that it gets done correctly. We're a small organization, and we're reaching out, trying to do the best that we can. Hopefully, we can make it easier for our fellow veterans. They fought for their country. Now they fight for their community. From Brownsville, Alfredo Cuadros reporting. The group's message for this upcoming Veterans Day, thank your local veterans. A simple thank you can go a long way.